Hi, BookTube. It's Gina, and I'm here today to talk to you about food. Now, this is one of my favorite topics. Don't worry, I'm not going to start a cooking channel. I don't really have any cooking skills myself, but I love to cook, and I love cookbooks. This morning, I and a dear friend of mine went to a farm stand uh, here in the area where I live, and we picked up some lettuces and some radishes, and it was just such a fun morning going to the farm stand, buying some lettuces, that I thought, you know, I, I really want to talk a little bit about, about food and about cookbooks because it's a very important part of my life. We also went over to some dear friend's house for dinner last night. We were able to sit outside. We had a beautiful sunny day. It was a little cloudy by the time evening rolled around, but it was still warm enough to sit outside. And so I've just had food on my mind this weekend. And then I also saw Jim's Books and Reading and Stuff's new C tag. And one of his questions was cookbooks on that tag. And I will do that whole tag because I think it's a really fun one, but it also just reminded me that I like to talk about cookbooks. So if you don't like cookbooks, you could just remove yourself from this uh, video because it's gonna be about cookbooks. Now, I have a big cookbook collection and if I can, get some footage of it. It's in a, it's in my, my office and it's a little bit dark in there. So I'll try and grab some footage of it so I can show it to you because I just think it's lovely. I love having paper cookbooks, even though I do get a lot of inspiration from YouTube channels, from Instagram. I, I do love to have paper cookbooks. And so I thought I would share out three of the, the my favorite sort of types of cookbooks because I think that cookbooks for me serve different purposes. Um, one of which is beautiful pictures. And of course, recipes are always important. That's just a given, of course. Um, but beautiful pictures, beautiful stories and, and text, and recipes. And so those are sort of the three things that I look for in cookbooks. They don't always have to have all three of those. And I'll show you a couple of examples. So one of my favorite cookbooks for just recipes um, is Veganomicon. This is an Isa Chandra Moskowitz and Terry Hope Romero book. And I am not a vegan, but I do do a lot of vegan recipes. And this cookbook is, is fantastic. One of my favorite recipes in here is called Snobby Joe's. It is a lentil sloppy Joe's recipe. And I love it. You can see it's, I've, I've definitely, I've made notes. I've cooked this a lot. And this cookbook is almost all recipes. It does not meet my criteria for having beautiful pictures, but I don't care about that because this cookbook for me is just for recipes. Now there are some pictures in here and there is some nice text in here. So there's there are some inserts in the center of, um, of, you know, of some, some of the recipes. But overall, this cookbook is just, this is a recipe book. This is get you in to the vegan cooking, get the recipes going, and I love this book for that. My second, and probably my most, well, I can't, I don't know, they're all my favorites, but um, the, the second type of cookbook that I wanna talk about is the, the Beautiful Pictures Cookbook. This is The Forest Feast by Erin Gleason, Simple Vegetarian Recipes from My Cabin in the Woods. And of course, that just speaks to me to no end. A dear friend, the dear friend who I went to the farm stand with this morning and who had us over for dinner last night, bought me this cookbook for um, my birthday last year. I don't know, last year's kind of a blur, but bought this cookbook for me. Um, and I, this cookbook I love because she does these hand, <laughs> you can see it, these handwritten decorations, um, which are fantastic, plus all of the photos. I mean, the pictures in this book, 
are just spectacular. Plus, I also live in a cabin in the woods, and so the cabin in the woods vibe is right up my alley. Um, I mean, look at this. This is a view from her her little cabin in the woods, and I just absolutely love that. I was just gonna try and see if I could find one from when they're having a party, because I love having deck parties. And when I say party, I kind of mean having people over, cooking, maybe grilling. Um, it's generally casual because I am a pretty casual person, but I like to, I love to have people over. I love to entertain. Here's a beautiful picture of, of them sitting out on my deck. And that is, I mean, the, so the recipes in this book are good. They're almost more like guides. It's, it's like, um, you know, you, you can, you can look at a recipe, but it's more like a guide. Like you could do a bunch of different things with it. And so the beauty of this book, and one of the reasons why I love this is because of just the, the beautiful pictures and scenery. And then lastly, I love cookbooks with stories. Um, Nigella Lawson does the best cookbooks with stories. Her Christmas cookbook, I read it every year. It's just a delight around Christmas time. And this one is the new one, Cook, Eat, Repeat, Ingredients, Recipes, and Stories. And she's always got great pictures in her books. And of course her recipes are good, but these books are all, for me, they're all about the stories. And this chapter is called Much Depends on Dinner. And it says, it's strange thing to begin a book in a world and finish it in another. This chapter, or the chapter it was going to be, was originally called How to Invite People for Supper Without Hating Them or Yourself. And I am almost winded by the inappropriateness of that title now. And of course, she goes on to you know talk about COVID and talk about how things have changed. And that is my cat squealing in the background, Josie. Um, but this, I absolutely love her stories. Nigella is the best at weaving a tale around the lusciousness of cooking and how she loves to settle into the food. And just the way she describes it is so luxurious and rich and decadent that you could just like see her, you know, licking chocolate syrup off of her fingers. She's, she's so, such a sensuous chef and recipe writer and cookbook creator that I just, I absolutely love that. So I just wanted to share some cookbooks with you today. I'm going to try and insert some footage of my cookbooks after this. If you don't see it, it's because I couldn't figure out how to merge those two things together on my iMovie, which I still have yet to do. I know it's not that hard, but I can't quite figure it out. Um, so thank you, BookTube, and I will talk to you soon.